Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Victoria here at Radiant Moon Tarot. This is February 7th and it is Wednesday, so we have midweek motivation day for you guys. Now if you are new to my channel, Wednesdays, I find that, you know, it's one of those days where it's the middle of the week and depending how your week is going, it's either dragging on forever or it's going quite quickly. Maybe you've got something exciting to look forward to for the weekend or perhaps you're just waiting to have a little bit of a break. So Wednesdays, we don't try and predict the energy of the day. We bring forward messages of motivation, positivity, some advice there for you, whatever it is that spirit wants to say to you for your day ahead. So let's get right into it. And uh, if you do find that you enjoy your reading, please do take a moment and press that like button. It really does help uh, with that uh, with that all famous algorithm there. It helps my channel get seen. It helps the videos get seen. And it's really just you recommending the video to other people. So press that thumbs up button free for you only takes a second but really does help me out we have a oh, beautiful energy we've got the energy of abundance coming in here for you now abundance is a mindset and this is what spirit is wanting to remind you about right here right now today when we embrace an abundant mindset this is Really believing truly, deeply within your heart of hearts, your soul of souls, that all your needs are going to be met plus more. That there is an infinite amount of abundance out there in the universe for us all. Yes, 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 we are taught to believe that it's only the 1% or only special people or whatever. Poo poo that, no siree Bob. There is more than enough for everyone. And abundance doesn't just mean quite often, you know, because we do live in a material world, right? Um, quite often when we hear the word abundance, we think money. But abundance goes deeper than that. It's more of that. It's believing that there's an abundance of possibilities, an abundance of avenues that you can take, abundance of ways to solve a problem, an abundance of love, an abundance of opportunity, right? So abundance can mean anything. In your life. So when we embrace the abundance mindset, right, this is where the magic happens. It is the sweet spot. It is very important that we embrace that mindset because remember, whatever happens in our world, whatever we want, um, whatever we're attracting, whatever we've got going on, everything is ultimately energy. And the energy that we put out is what we attract back to us. So when we are putting out a wonderful, positive, optimistic, abundant energy out into the universe, love, heart, right, all starts, uh, all starts there, right? But when we're putting that out into the universe, that is what we attract back. Whereas if we focus on the negative things, we focus on the things that we don't want, we focus on um, the things that we don't have, what we're doing is we're putting our energy into those things. And that's what we're going to get back. Or we're just going to create a big obstacle for ourselves. So believe in your power to harness all of the infinite abundance that the universe has to offer. Now, this is also an important card to come up today because as I do this reading, I mean, by their very nature, Wednesdays, the midweek, midweek motivation readings are actually timeless. Um, it's just really, I'm just doing the message today. Um, but there's no timeline associated with it. However, as I do this reading, we are only a couple of days away from the new moon in Aquarius in, in February 2024. And this is a time where we can all embrace our personal power to manifest new things into our lives. So embrace this abundant energy and you'll be amazed at what flows back to you. Believe that you will find what you need when you need it the most. And it can be the most mundane thing spirit will give you a sign. A couple of weeks ago, I was, uh, you know, we were caught in a snowstorm and all this kind of stuff. And uh, I couldn't find, I needed something. I couldn't find something. And then all of a sudden, boom. Right there, it's like the universe just handed it to me. Crazy, crazy things, right? And it's just really solidifies, right? Solidifies what's going on. So it's your opportunity to attract abundance into your life. And perhaps for some of you, part of abundance represents some romance. If you are single looking for some new love in your life, 
right? We need to believe that there is love out there for us. And no matter what your situation is, whether you're attracting money or opportunities or solution or just happiness and joy or love and romance, friendship, camaraderie, whatever it is that you want to attract into your life or have more of, right? Um, Remember that it all starts with intention. Yes, it does. It starts with attaching feelings and really truly believing and having faith, right? But it also requires to being open to alternate possibilities and being ready to take action. The universe will do its part by sending you an open door, sending you the seed of an opportunity, and it's your chance, your responsibility to run with it. You can choose to, you can choose not to. But the door to romance is opening for those singles out there. And if you are not single, if you are coupled up with somebody, then perhaps this is a time of enhanced romance in your life. We do um, quite often in our relationships, you know, life gets in the way. We don't focus on love and romance and lovey-dovey stuff every single day, right? We're busy, right? You've got kids, you've got a job, um, you've got priorities, maybe you've got, uh, you know, hobbies and interests, you've got a social life, right? You've got all these things going on. And so love and romance isn't necessarily the focus. But Spirit wants you here in this energy to find some time to focus on love and romance, right? Because it, love really is the highest vibration of all. And when we embrace a little bit of romance in our life, it can be a simple gesture. It can be a gesture of making someone their favorite meal, lighting a candle and having it ready for them, right? Whatever it looks like to you. It can be something simple as doing them something nice or maybe an expression of love or maybe finding a, a date night kind of thing. Right? A little bit of romance in your life really does boost your vibe. And again, if you are single looking for love, do something nice for yourself as well. I mean, we are coming up on Valentine's Day in about a week or so, right? So, eh, you know, it's kind of the time that time of year where it can be a little bit of a double edged sword. But if you are single, keep that door to romance open because the angels are helping you and sending you possibilities, right? But you got to be open to it. But in this energy as well, if you are not coupled up with somebody and we are coming up on Valentine's Day very soon, do something nice for yourself. Show yourself a little bit of love and romance, even if you do have someone in your life, right? Buy yourself some flowers. Take yourself out to dinner. Do Book yourself an hour at the spa. Do something free that you enjoy, right? Show yourself a little bit of love and care. We have actuarian light codes, arcturian, I should say, light codes coming in here. Now, this is really important. So spirit really does want you all to keep an open heart and an open mind because we are in Aquarian season. We've got Pluto in Aquarius, which in our lifetimes has never, ever occurred, right? The last time you probably heard about it, um, but the last time that that happened a couple hundred years ago, we got revolutions and all that kind of stuff. And it's starting to happen now because Pluto in Aquarius breaks down structure, breaks down the things. Things that aren't working, right, brings things to light, is truth, seeker of truth, but also brings back power to the people. But also what happens is we forget sometimes to talk about the side of Pluto that is actually incredibly spiritual. And Pluto in Aquarius can bring about massive amounts of spiritual awakening or ascension, um, raising of the mass vibration um, all across the globe because Aquarius energy is all about the people, right? Humanitarian energy. So in this energy here, this is all about um, receiving spiritual downloads, evolutionary downloads, the things that help us change, right? Pluto energy, I evolve, right? And um, this brings power back to you. So some of you are really getting some very powerful insights, some clarity around things, um, things that have maybe been a little bit elusive to you or you didn't even know that you were looking for. Pay attention to your dreams, signs, symbols, synchronicities. Great opportunity and great time for you, especially this week, um, especially with that new moon coming up in Aquarius. Great time for some meditation or engage in spiritual practice, right? Law of attraction rituals, whatever it happens to be. This is a great time to cut some cords, especially right before the new moon. We've got the dark moon, right? This is where we can really cleanse and purge everything, right? 
right? Do a little bit of candle work, light a black candle, release negative attachments, negative cords, clear the path and clear the way for these light codes, for these downloads that are coming to you, right? Pay attention to your dreams. Dreams also um, can really bring in some messages, right? So this is a time of mass um, mass awakening and you are a part of it. So just be open, go with the flow, do the work that you feel that you need to do so that you can make space and make room for all of these wonderful new energies that are coming in. I love it. We've got the star coming out here, very Aquarian in its energy, Aquarius season, new moon in Aquarius. Okay. The star brings about your visions of the future. The star also brings about peace and serendipity, balance and harmony in your life as well. And in this energy, right, this is spirit reminding you that you have the power to change the world. Do you need to go out there and be an activist and, um, you know, all of that? No, you don't. You can do it simply by projecting your beautiful inner light outwardly. That you have the power to transform the energy internally, project it externally, and then have that ripple effect on the world. So embrace your vibe, right? You are part of the collective future. You are part of the spiritual awakening that is happening all over the place. And yes, an awakening can sometimes come with some turbulence, right? You know, it's all that breaking down of structure. But after that and through that, we do find peace. And we can have a peaceful revolution. We can have peaceful um, uh, change ahead for us as well. So live your beautiful life. Bring your beautiful light outward. And you'll be amazed what impact it can have on the world around you. The star also brings blessings and miracles to you. It is a big yes card. Make a wish. Make a wish upon a star. Wish big, dream big, and believe in your abundance because the star energy, we have success and abundance that we can attract, we can harness. We've got all the stars of the universe right here, and this really does remind you of your ability to harness the infinite abundance of the universe and bring it into your 3D world. Be open to changes. A little bit of patience is required. Keep that hope alive right trust yourself and trust the energies around you and a little bit of mystery and a little bit of magic is going to be yours but all this right here preparation for this new moon that is coming ahead but also really does set the stage and helps us set the stage for Aquarian uh, Pluto and Aquarius season which is going to last the next 20 years okay so Believe that you can change. Believe that you can attract the things that are good for you, the things that you want, and believe in your absolute wonderful power to do all of that, right? And remember, when we are speaking affirmations of any kind, remember, speak them in today. Speak them here and the now, not tomorrow, right? Um, it's always here. Thank you for this right now. Thank you for this. Thank you for this, right? Thank you for love and romance. Thank you for abundance in my life. Thank you for everything that I have and everything that is manifesting in my world, right? Always speak those um, points of gratitude. You have more things to be grateful for. But I love the star energy. It does bring healing. It does restore hope for your current situation or for your future. And it really does remind you of your personal power and to remember your vision for the future, whatever that looks like for you can come true. And you just need to believe it, but you also might need to be a little bit patient. We've got the 10 of cups here as well. Beautiful energy. The 10 of cups is about optimism and positivity. Happy home, happy family, happy friendships, happy you right? One of the happiest energies in the entire deck. You can attract things. You can embrace abundance in your life. You can focus on the things that make you happy. You can embrace a positive, abundant mindset and then watch the miracles unfold. With the Ten of Cups, some of you, I think, do have something manifesting in your life right now, and it's something that you wished for, something that you're hoping for. Something that you really believe in your heart of hearts is going to come true for you. Keep that attitude because this is a little bit of magic right here. But with the Eight of Cups, it may require you to let something go, to leave something behind. This is a beautiful time right now. And again, we're coming up to a new moon in Aquarius and 
right now we are about to step into the dark moon. Cleansing and purging, releasing, letting go, eight of cups, right? Detaching emotionally from the things in our life, from old patterns, habits, behaviors, from people, from situations, whatever it happens to be, releasing, letting go and having a clear vision or even just having a different vision of the future, even if the details are a little bit fuzzy at the moment. But when we release, we let go, we bring in healing energy, we bring in more love and light in our world, right? We process emotions, but we ultimately do turn our um, our direction forward, not backwards. So it's time to leave something behind. Also, this is a reminder that if you are whatever it is that you are creating in your life right now, set your intentions, focus on abundance, right? Focus on positivity, trust and have faith, right? Believe in your personal power, keep an optimistic attitude and abundant mindset, but then eight of cups, let it go. Trust that the universe is going to do its job. Trust that wherever you set your intentions already has manifested in your world because energetically, boom, it's done. You are the alchemist. You are the magician of your life. But when we try and control the outcome or we try, and, we try to force something into existence or force something to happen before its natural timing would normally be, it doesn't work, right? Or even if it does work, there's something not quite right about it and it may not be long lasting. So we have to remember to let go of the need to micromanage, let go of control, let go of the timing and let go of the worry, allow things to happen when they're meant to be in the flow, because that's the magical sweet spot. That's where things are really, um, that's where things really do come into existence. Because when we're in the flow, we're open to possibilities, and we're willing to take a different path. We don't overthink, we don't overanalyze, and we don't worry. And this is what spirit's wanting you to do in this energy. Let things go and allow things to happen. Allow the messages to come in. Allow your vision of the future to materialize in front of your eyes. Trust in the process because sometimes it's really fast and sometimes it's a little bit slower. <laughs> so sometimes it can be frustratingly slow. We need to let that go. Let it go. Step into the flow because you're making all the right moves. The next card in the deck after the eight of cups is the nine of cups, which is your wish fulfillment. Look into the future. Where? What is your vision of the future? Because your opportunity to make that happen is here and it's now. Believe in your personal power and then trust. Trust is very important, very much the key. So keep your eyes and ears peered, peeled, people. Watch for those signs because there's something magical shifting here for you in the best of ways. I've been asked to leave that there, so I will. I thank you for watching. I do hope there was something in this message for you. If so, please do hit that like button. Comment in the box down below. What are you manifesting? What are you healing? What are you leaving behind? What are you attracting into your life? Everyone has a different story to share, right? And your story can help someone else on their journey. You just never know. I thank you for watching, guys. Have a magnificent day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.